Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 28th or the full moon. So keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. So, what do we have for around the full moon? Justice. Justice. Now, justice is a card of decision, making a decision. It could be a court ruling. There could be, you know, uh, some legal issues playing out on this day. But justice is a card of uh, doing the right thing. Everything turning out as it should. This is the laws. This is the law, whether it's the universal law or the, you know, earthly law taking action to bring justice to a situation now there's no toleration for lies we have somebody here that's probably trying to get away with something but they're not going to get away with it this is a fair and just decision being made so justice is a card of integrity it's about doing the right thing to bring balance to a situation there could be some truth that is coming out But this is everything turning out as it should. So there could be some legal issues that are, that are playing out on this day. Now, keep in mind that there is a fair and just decision that is going to be made based on the truth. Whether it's karma that is playing out or, you know, the regular law, okay? This is all about the truth. Also a decision, a decision is being made. Abundance, three of cups. Now three of cups has abundance, but it looks like they're, they're having a party. It looks like you have a celebration here. We have somebody there here that's partying, they're drinking, they're having fun. You know, we could be getting, a, getting together, you know, celebrating something. Victory. Now, this is the Six of Wands. So we do have a victory here. We do have a victory. A fair and just decision is going to be made. We have a very strong individual who is noble that has already fought a battle. This is somebody that is very knowledgeable. The battle is over or it's about to be. Because the Six of Wands comes after the Five of Wands where there is the battle, there's a competition, but the battle is over. There's some sort of public recognition here as well. So there's something, there's some sort of public recognition, public support. Something about public. I don't know if there's something something being made public or, or it's been made public. But this is victory. This is making progress, heading towards success. Making a decision is leading somebody towards success. It's all about the facts. It's all about the truth. So, hmm. Now this is victory after sorrow. A fair and just decision will be made. Nine of Swords. We have somebody here that is extremely worried or anxious. Uh, they're, I feel like we have somebody here that is troubled. They are troubled. They're, they're, I, you know, I don't know if somebody is going to be receiving some consequences or some, because justice is a card of consequences. It's also a card of karma. We have somebody here that is noble, that has a lot of integrity. This is a, this is a warrior. Okay, so we do have a warrior here that has already, you know, fought a hard battle. We have somebody over here that is not in a good place. They're in a deep, dark place and they're, they're suffering. They're definitely suffering. So we have some, and they, we could have some regrets. We may, because this is consequences. This is regrets. We may have somebody that is facing some consequences for uh, their actions. And now they have some sort of regrets.
I wonder if the law is stepping into a situation. You know, this is, I mean, the Six of Wands is somebody that is, it could be a soldier, it could be a law official. We could have a law official that is stepping in to a situation. Now, this is despair and cruelty. We have somebody here that has been being cruel. Remember I said the laws of karma or the justice system sees right through every situation. You know, they do. And there's because of the experience. This is somebody that is very experienced. So we have somebody here that is very experienced that is seeing, and it could be just be the laws of karma, but there is somebody that is, you know, seeing the truth. You can see right through the truth of a situation. Somebody that is highly experienced. So, hmm. There is victory after sorrow. We have somebody here that is extremely worried. They are extremely worried, but I feel like, uh, I just feel it. Well, there's two sides to every situation because of that justice card. There are two sides to every situation. And it's interesting because here we have one person celebrating and one person in despair. Because see, there's two sides with the justice card. So this is a celebration. And over here we have despair and cruelty. We have somebody that's being cruel princess of cups in their emotions very very emotional acting on feelings you know this is feeling somebody's gonna be acting on their feelings now the page of cups is it's a very emotional time you know we have somebody here that may be um, very sensitive um, I don't know, we may even have an empath here. I mean, the Princess of Cups is somebody that is intuitive, is sensing something. I feel like we have somebody here that is sensing, and this is like, I feel like we have somebody here that has some, I mean, the Nine of Swords, there, there could be some you know, mental health problems. This is depression, anxiety, stress. Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands is somebody who does something without thinking. So I do feel like somebody is doing something. It's like act now, think later. Somebody is doing, they could be doing something impulsive. Acting on feelings. I knew it. I knew it. That is acting on feelings. Somebody is going to be acting on their feelings. And I feel like there's going to be some consequences for that. A justice is a card of consequences and karma. So doing something without thinking in a hurry, this is somebody that um, moves very, very fast, very, very, uh, has no fear, you know, this is somebody that is on a mission, and I feel like this person uh, is very, very feisty, I feel like, I feel like they're doing something hasty, somebody's going to do something hasty. They got some sort of vision, you know, that they got to go do something right now. Right, 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 right now. And I feel it's because they're in a deep, dark place. This is a deep, dark place. They are. And they're, it feels like they're going up against another person that is very experienced. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Libra. Um... Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but somebody's definitely acting on their feelings, and it's because they're 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 and maybe they feel, maybe they're guilty for something, you know. And when people are guilty, sometimes you know they have a heart. They want to win. You know, this is about winning. They want to win something, you know. So it's interesting. This is very interesting. The laws of karma and the laws of justice, or the justice system, sees straight through everything. Because of the experience, we definitely have an experienced individual here that is uh, seeing something by the looks of things. The Empress reversed. Ooh, 
Yikes. So the Empress reversed is, is an individual, it's typically a feminine energy who is very, very selfish. This person is selfish, self-centered, possessive, jealous, uh, inexperienced, uh, forceful. So yeah, we have a forceful individual that is weak. I feel like this person is weak and they're acting without thinking and there's going to be some consequences. Anyhow, um, I think it's like passionate hate. You know what I mean? I, that's what I feel like it is. I feel like it is. The Empress reversed. Now the Empress reversed is, I don't know if there's some sort of termination here. Lack of fertility, lack of growth, lack of abundance. We have somebody here that is is definitely not very healthy. And they're going to be getting some sort of karma. They are. This person is uncaring. We have somebody here that is uncaring. Very, very, uh, has a poor self-image. Very needy. Self-absorbed. We have a self-absorbed individual that is doing something impulsive. Based on their feelings. They're acting on their feelings. They can't master their emotions at all. Now the Empress reversed. Lack of growth, lack of fertility. King of Swords reversed. Challenging information is coming. It is. We have a bully here. We have a bully. Somebody that is abusive. Could be two people. We, could, we may have two people that are bullying somebody. That's where the cruelty comes in. We do have two people that are bullying somebody. Unbelievable. This is an abuse of power. We have somebody here that is abusive dishonest this is like an absent father absent mother you know so there's something going on here we have somebody here that is uh untrustworthy very very two people i feel like we have two people here that are untrustworthy that are lacking integrity these people are power crazed power power crazed oh my freaking god and that's where the cruelty comes in we have two people here that are power crazed and they are acting on their feelings. But I don't feel like they're going to be successful with their endeavor. I don't. Because on this side, you know, I feel like karma, the laws of justice, the laws of karma see that this person is power crazed or these people are power crazed. ruthless lacking integrity we have two people that just don't care they don't care it's not like they care about the child or or whoever it is or each other or something there's the empress reverse it's like i don't care about the child i care about re being in control There's the mother, there's the father, there's the child. I don't know if that's the case for all of you, but. This could be a stepmother. Doesn't even have to be a mother. It could be, it could be, it could be a lover, you know. It's judgment over on this side. I was going to, I wanted to clarify on this side. This is karma again. There's going to be a court ruling or something. Karma is going to be delivered. This is going to cause an ending, a major ending. This is a life-changing decision that is going to be made. There's definitely going to be some legal consequences or implications or uh, judgment that is made in regards to a situation. This is the truth. The truth being revealed. 
So the truth is definitely going to be revealed. And we have a very experienced individual, whether it's a person or it's karma, that is going to see straight through the situation, the lies, the dishonesty, the force. We have somebody that is being very, very forceful. They're being impulsive, doing things without thinking. And I feel like, you know, there's going to be consequences. Somebody could end up in jail on this side. Or in a mental hospital or something like that. I mean, looks like a hospital bed to me. I mean, if you take a look at the sheet, I mean, I don't know, but that's what it looks like. We definitely have somebody here that is sick, I think. Anyway, judgment is going to be passed. The laws of karma sees everything. We have karma, double karma, and it feels like we have two people. And this is having regrets for acting without thinking. So we, I do believe that there's going to be some regrets for acting without thinking. This is truth being revealed, being held accountable for actions, and responsibility being assigned. We have the end of things here. Just cut the deck to the five of wands reversed. This is the end of a battle. This war is over. Finding a solution. I feel I feel like we have somebody here that is exhausted and fed up with the fighting. And they're going to put an end to it. I mean, the ju judgment card is an end to it. This is the end of things. And there is, there is one person that is going to be celebrating because of that three of cups. The battle is over. Or it is about to be because judgment or karma is about to be assigned. Everything's going to turn out as it should. Good luck.